I've had this Wacom since 2007 and I use it mainly for Photoshop. I design and illustrate in Photoshop and I find it hard to do with just a mouse. Here's how I customize my Wacom for Photoshop. First, I launch Adobe Photoshop. Next, I open the system preferences of my Wacom tablet. Under the application box, I click plus and added Photoshop. This will customize my Wacom specifically for Photoshop. The first thing to customize is the pen. I did not change the right click because I need easy access to the brushes, which is accessible by the right click. I change the middle click to keystroke and type command C. So every time I need to undo something, I just click the middle button. I customize the first button with the keystroke letter R, so I can use it for rotating my canvas. Just press and hold the first button and rotate the canvas with my pen. For the second button, I use the keystroke letter W for magic wand. This is my most used selection tool. I'm going to assign the third button to brush tool. So I just input the keystroke letter B and name it brush so I can jump to the brush tool very easily. I assign the fourth button to the eraser tool. So I just type in the keystroke, letter E, and name it eraser. So I can jump to eraser tool very easily too. It is easier to use than the keyboard or to rotate the pen itself. For the fifth button, I type in the keystroke letter X. This is to change or to alternate the color in my color palette. I assign the 6th button to the save command, so I just type in the keystroke, command S, and type save. For the 7th button, I assign the keystroke, letter L, or lasso tool. For the 8th and last button of the express keys, I assign the keystroke letter H for the hand tool. Now, for the touch ring, there are four functions. For the first function, I will assign to the keystroke the left bracket and the right bracket. This is for the brush size command. This is the easiest way to increase or decrease your brush size. The next touch ring function, I will choose the default rotate. This is for rotating the canvas using the touch ring and not with the pen. For the third touch ring function, I will choose brush size again. Left bracket and right bracket. For the fourth function, I will choose the default setting of the zoom. The reason that I have two brush size function in the wheel is that I don't have to cycle through all the functions to get back to the brush size.
Now, I'm going to customize the express keys for Adobe Lightroom. For the first button, I'm going to assign this to white balance. So I'll type in the keystroke, the letter W, and name it white balance. So whenever I need the white balance, I just click on this button. Now for the second button of the express keys, I will type in the keystroke command U. This is for the auto tone. For the third button, I will type in the keystroke Option, Command, and letter V. This is for the Paste Settings command. For the fourth button, I'm going to type in the keystroke Shift, Command, S. This is for the Sync command. For the fifth button, I'm going to type in the keystroke Option Command 1. This is for the command for going to the library mode. For the sixth button, I'm going to type in the keystroke Option Command 2. This is for the develop mode. For the seventh button, I'm going to type in the keystroke left arrow. This is move back command. For the last button, I'm going to type in the keystroke right arrow. This is move forward command. Now for the touch ring function, the first function I will type in the keystroke dash and equal sign. This is for the adjustment slider of Adobe Lightroom. Now for the next touch ring function, I'm going to type on the top the comma and on the bottom, I'm going to type period. This is for the cycle modifiers function. For the third and the fourth function, I'm just going to repeat the slider and the cycle modifiers because that's the only two tools I need. Customizing the Premiere Pro Express Keys. For the first button, I'm going to assign or type on the keystroke the letter V. This is for the selection tool. For the second button, I'm going to type the keystroke letter C. This is for the razor or cut button. For the third button, I'm going to type the keystroke, letter I. This is for the IN. For the fourth button, I'm going to type the keystroke, letter O. This is for the OUT. For the fifth button, I'm going to type the keystroke, SHIFT and I. This is for the GO TO IN command. For the 6th button, I'm going to type SHIFT O. This is GO TO OUT command. For the 7th button, I'm going to type COMMAND Z for UNDO. 
for the last button, I'm going to type Command S. This is the save button. Now for Premiere Pro, I'm going to customize the touch ring to act like the jog wheel of an editing machine. So for the first function, I'm going to type the left arrow and the right arrow. And this is for the jog. For the next function, I'm going to type the keystroke. Shift left arrow on the top and shift right arrow on the bottom. This is for the fast jog. For the third function, I'm going to type the same keystroke. Shift left arrow on the top and shift right arrow on the bottom. This is the same as the fast jog. But this time, I'm going to change the speed from the middle slider to the fast. This is the faster jog. For the fourth function, I just disabled it. Wacom made my job easier in Photoshop. It also made editing faster with Premiere Pro and Lightroom. I think I'm going to customize this further with Adobe After Effects and Adobe Illustrator. Depending on the projects that I do, sometimes I customize the keys according to the most used tools.